my beautiful people and welcome to Zara 33's top 10 list of a rich guy falls for a poor girl. Let's begin with a bonus one. Um, I didn't like a recover under the bridge but still decided to put it into the list because I know a lot of other people really liked that anime and found it very hilarious. For me it was hard to watch. But it is about a wealthy businessman that never wants to be indebted to anyone and Nino who is, ho uh, who is a homeless girl and after saving his life he is indebted to her and doesn't want that so he tries to fulfill her wish to become her boyfriend and make her fall in love with him. It doesn't have so many romantic moments and even the romantic moments that start to occur or it happens sometimes are destroyed by the people around them or by them themselves. Their relationship is rather weird as Nino is not the typical girl as you can imagine. Besides that, uh, a few things I liked are the animations at some point and also the character design. All of them look pretty appealing, but I don't like the characters nor do I like the comedy part. But again, that is my personal opinion and that doesn't mean that you won't like it. So I put it in here. And if you're interested and haven't watched that, you should check it out. So, number 10, Meiji Tokyo Renka. We have the high school girl Mei with a special talent to talk and be able to see spirits. That makes her an outsider, but she gets magically transported to the Meiji period in the past where her abilities make her the center of attention and are actually quite useful. Not only that, but she gets to meet a lot of handsome guys. We don't get to know too much of all of them, which is a pity. The very first guy she meets is a handsome, wealthy doctor who falls in love with her and wants to actually marry her. The ending is not exactly what I expected. And if you have watched Dance with the Devils, you will understand what I mean. But I liked it better than the ending of Dance with the Devils and I feel it makes sense, although it's not the ending I might have preferred personally. All in all, it's an anime that's very pleasant to watch, although it has nothing to suck you in really but on the other hand it also has no true drama so it's a nice light-hearted romance comedy anime to watch with quite a few romantic scenes and it's impossible not to find at least one guy that you will like believe me number nine Norame Cantabil to be honest, I haven't completed the anime yet. I've only watched the first season, but what I know about the anime and I can tell you is that Chiaki comes from a rather wealthy family. He's a perfectionist, especially when it comes to the piano, and he wants to travel abroad, but he is quite afraid to travel or to fly, actually. And on the other hand, we have that girl that is quite different than him, even when it comes to tidying up or cooking. She can also play the piano, but is not quite as perfectionistic as our Chiaki, and she has her own style of playing, which is very interesting to him. First, they don't really get along but after some time they develop a relationship which is quite nice to see because I feel like in many romance animes you don't really see a relationship happening. Those two together are pretty funny especially since Norame is a nice contrast to his character. If you enjoy classical music I'm sure you will love this. So if you haven't watched it, hope you enjoy it! Number 8, Special A. We have Hikari, a girl that even as a child could do things other people could not. And she assumed that no one else could beat her until she met Kei and he actually beat her in pretty much everything. It doesn't matter if it was athletics or something that had to do with education. He seemed to be always a little bit better than her. She made it to her own mission to actually beat him one day. They later, when they were in high school, were in the same class called Special A, where the top was it seven or eight students of the whole school are and although most of them are rather rich and come from wealthy families Hikari is not one of them but because she puts extra effort in and of course always wants to beat K, she's one of the best no matter what she does but still second to K. K seems to be in love with her from the very beginning but Hikari takes a little bit longer to understand her feelings and then we have that kind of drama developing where he might want to move on but she starts to realize her feelings for him it's special A and if you want to see how this ends Go watch it. Number seven, fruits basket. So Toru lives in the woods after her mother passed away in an accident and she didn't want to be burdened to one of her family members so she started living in a tent. One day and another member of the Soma family discovered her and took her in into the house of the Soma family. The Soma family has a secret curse so whenever a Soma family member that is cursed gets hugged by the opposite gender so if it's a guy and gets hugged by a girl they temporarily transform into one one of the animals from the Chinese zodiac. This creates a lot of funny moments and a bit of confusion at first, but it's actually no laughing matter. The more you watch, the more you will understand that most of the cursed people had quite the tragic past. And the anime itself focuses mostly on the relationship between Yuki, 
Toto and Kyo. It's too bad that the anime itself isn't complete. So if you want the true ending, you have to read the manga, which I did. And it's a really nice ending. And what's also good about it, although it's an older anime, it has a new version with a lot of nicer character design and animation. So I know some of you don't like the older style, how anime was drawn, but now you also have the new version. So I highly recommend you watch it. It's quite a memorable anime with a rather unique concept. Number 6 Sayon Koku Monogatari This is a rather historic anime but everything shown is out of imagination It has nothing to do with actual history So we see Shurei who is the daughter of a nobleman that is rather poor So in order to support her family she takes a lot of odd jobs One day she gets offered to be the consort of the new emperor who is known to be very lazy with his duties and more into men so she accepts the offer since she's paid well to become his consort for six months her own dream is to become a government official which is out of her reach because back then women didn't have rights to do that but she's a very inspiring young woman and very very smart as well and instead of choosing to marry at, a, at the age of 16 which was the age most girls should have been married already she decides to study and try and become a government official anyway and against all odds and because the emperor took a liking to her she seems to be able to achieve a lot of the goals she has set or even exceed those goals we also see the relationship of ryuki the emperor and shurei develop slowly but steadily although it seems more like a rather one-sided relationship as ryuji is the one most in love with her. in the second season you will see how he slowly pressures her into deciding how she feels i personally thought it's a very nice anime especially for women to watch and it's quite inspiring you also get to see a lot of handsome young men falling in love with her or showing some kind of interest i know it's a little bit old but i still recommend you watch it number five uran high school host club well i know this might not be considered 100 percent romance anime just for the fact that the romance scenes are very rare and we never get to see a complete ending or we never get to see someone ending up with someone it's a pity that you actually have to read the manga to see the whole story and it's a really nice ending by the way but a second season was never released so in that one season the main focus is on comedy and not on romance it still has its romantic scenes and we still see some characters development i love all the main protagonists to be honest and all together create a very hilarious environment i also like the fact that all of them are pretty rich and they in the host club they dress up uh, in different kinds of themes which are pretty pretty funny but they also take haruhi to different kinds of events or places that she gets to see and have a little adventure even though a lot of the time she doesn't want to haruhi is very very smart and could join the uran high school just because he had a scholarship all the other students there are filthy rich to be honest that alone create quite the hilarious moments at first most people thought she was a guy that's why she could become part of the host club but mostly because she had to pay back the debt of breaking a waist that was pretty expensive and she of course didn't have the money because she isn't rich and after that point the story unfolds a lot of funny things happen a few romantic scenes happen and the manga is really great so though it isn't finished and the focus isn't on the romance part i still love it um i know many people don't agree with that but in the end i'm only saying my personal opinion and i suggest just you watch it but of course you might not like it but you can decide that for yourself number four it has urana kiss this one is one of my all-time favorites and if i had to make a top romance anime list it would be in it and always in one of the top spots what i love about it it's a complete story you see how they begin from enemies to slowly becoming lovers and developing some kind of relationship and it even shows them in university and even after they finish university when they actually get a job i've never seen an anime this complete and it honestly creates that feeling of feeling content you know you you don't yearn for another season because it's complete you you just know what's happening and i personally really like the whole anime from start to end it has a few dramatic moments uh, with a bit of jealousy involved and a few fights but all in all it's such a pleasure to watch and quite funny what happens is Karako's father built a house which collapsed and since they didn't have anywhere else to stay because they were quite poor a friend of the father invited them to live in their house till they can build a new house and then stay in it again to her surprise it was 
exactly the house of Irie Kun, which Kotoko was in love with for already two years, but who had turned her down because she's too stupid. He is in the highest and best class and the top student of her school and she is at the bottom. But, but her determination and also her love for him makes her achieve many many goals and exceed them even and make her strive to become something better. I definitely love and recommend you watch this anime even though it's old and you might not like the character design a lot or the animation. It's still a nice story, honestly. So if you haven't watched it, maybe you wanna give it a try. Number three, skip beat. To be honest, if that anime was newer and if it had, or if at least it had more of a focus on romance than comedy, then it would be on number two. But since the main focus isn't on the romance itself, and if you want to see the end and the actual the actual romantic scenes and what actually happens in the full story you have to read the manga which is an amazing manga i can only recommend you reading it especially after watching that season because you want to know more and what will happen in the end it's about the smart and intelligent and hard-working girl kyoko who even stopped high school to support and help her to help her childhood friend and also her love of a life showed to become a true pop star in tokyo she works three to four jobs just to pay all his expenses and so he doesn't have to lift a finger other than concentrate on his career but in her mind she thinks or he lets her believe actually that she's his girlfriend although he treats her very badly and definitely is not interested in her one day she realizes that gets super angry stops doing anything for him and wants to get back at him by becoming more famous than him she didn't have any kind of interest or talent in any of the jobs that could make her famous so she just tries to get into a talent agency and find something that can make her famous the people there see something in her due to her hard work and actually the concentration and effort she puts in becomes somewhat famous and actually not only gets to meet show again but but also make ren a very known and popular actor get to like her although at first they were rather enemies because he was very against her just becoming famous to get back at someone because he, ta he takes his job very very seriously we see a lot of character development and a lot of what kyoko has been through and how she has changed and what she has achieved show's past on the other hand is pretty clear from the beginning but all in all i feel like this anime has something that makes you binge watch it it sucks you in i completely became part of kyoko being an actress and the way she performed so i highly recommend you that anime even though the main focus is not on the romance as it never got to that point you should still read the manga if you're interested, of course. Number two, Shira Yukihime, otherwise known as Snow White with the Red Hair. So the story is about Shira Yuki, who works in a pharmacy. She's very good at her job and loves what she's doing, but she decided leaving her country because the king of her country is quite stupid and wanted to force her to become his concubine. She didn't want to do it, so she fled to the neighboring country where she, completely by coincidence, met Prince Zen, who is a prince of the neighboring country. Zen quickly develops romantic feelings for Shira Yuki as she's not only beautiful, but extremely smart diligent and has a great character we get to see how their romantic feelings develop especially because of shirayuki since she is mostly focused on her profession and not on romantic feelings but as soon as zen makes the first move she has to start thinking about her feelings as well although this isn't one of my absolute favorite animes and although i put it in such a high spot i still think it's a very enjoyable anime and very fun to watch it's light-hearted it has some funny moments has some serious moments it has a strong female lead which I love. Uh, it has a good looking prince and we don't see so many animes with actual princes anymore and that's really nice because it has that fairy tale illusion to it. Uh, I decided to put it quite high even though it's not one of my most favorite romance animes in the world but since there's so many positive things about it I believe that a lot of people would enjoy watching it. Also all the male characters are really really handsome so I suggest you give it a try. And last but not least, Tongling Fei. Alright, this one is a Chinese anime and it's one of my absolute favorite romance animes of all time. Since I've already done a review about it, I will link the video somewhere on the screen. And what I'm gonna tell you is we have a nice strong female character who is smart, strong, is good at martial arts, etc. etc. And really her family kinda hates her because of her psychic abilities. She can see and speak to ghosts, but she can also speak to animals. So she gets married off to Ye Yuming, who is supposed to be a playboy 
boy cruel and mean so the other daughter who was supposed to marry him didn't want to so they sent her instead but in the end they seem to make a great match as no one is as great as him except her since she has many talents and is pretty smart we have a lot of nice romantic moments which you will enjoy for sure and since i absolutely love anime or in general series where the main characters are actually enemies at first but then become lovers this is definitely one of my absolute favorites i absolutely recommend you watch this bye bye